Meet Sam and Ruth. Sam is a 16-year-old Australian male. Ruth is a 16-year-old Timorese female. Sam lives in the burbs of Brisbane and is in year 11 in his local high school with about 150 other boys and girls. If he's running late to school, Sam grabs breakfast from the shops on the way to the bus stop. Ruth lives in a community in the mountains of Timor-Leste. Sometimes weeks go by when Ruth can't attend her local school because she needs to work so that her family can grow and harvest enough crops for food or because she needs to care for a sick family member. Sam's house has electricity, clean tap water and really fast internet. Well, he wishes it was even faster. When he gets sick, Sam goes to the medical centre down the road from his house and sees a doctor straight away. Not that he ever needs to, he's heaps tough. Ruth's community has a temperamental electricity generator and a water pump that only draws dirty water. Ruth is one of a billion people across the world who don't have access to safe drinking water. When Ruth contracts a waterborne disease in her small rural village, there's no doctor nearby. While Sam has mastered Call of Duty, he's never been caught in a war zone in his life. Though he did once see a brawl at the footy. Ruth's family has been torn apart by war. Her dad was shot in a civil conflict and her younger brother died from injuries he sustained when they had to flee their last home. When Sam wants to chill out after a busy day, he's got books to read, a TV to watch, a couch to lie on, snacks in the fridge and an older sister to annoy. Ruth hardly ever gets a chance to put her feet up, but she loves to sit and chat with other girls who live nearby and watch younger kids play soccer with a bundle of old rags for a ball. Ruth's life is very different to Sam's, for no other reason than that she was born three hours north of Sam in Timor-Leste. Timor-Leste is one of Australia's poorest neighbours. On the other hand, according to the UN, Australia is one of the wealthiest countries to live in, in the whole world. Global inequality is complex, but at its root, it's caused by a mix of human and physical factors. Poor soil, remote and mountainous locations, landlocked areas with no access to ports and heightened vulnerability to natural disasters make difficult conditions for human well-being. Add human factors like discrimination, corrupt leaders that bring war and conflict, or sign unfair trade rules with powerful countries, and poor infrastructure that limits access to education, clean water and healthcare, and the conditions are made even harder for human well-being. The good news is that people aren't just part of the problem, people are also part of the solution. Poverty and spatial inequality can be addressed and is being addressed. In 1990, 171 out of 1,000 children born in Timor-Leste died before their fifth birthday. Today, out of 1,000 children born, 57 will die before their fifth birthday. That's not nearly as good as Australia, where only five in 1,000 will die but it's a whole lot better than 20 years ago. Progress is happening. Through increased trade, effective aid and development strategies, and the endless hard work of people in poor communities. People like Ruth and her family, 